What's going on guys, Team Paranormal here. Before the video starts, I remind you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We post weekly, smash that like button, and leave a comment down below. Hope this video helps. Born Howard Stanton Levy, was the founder of the Church of Satan as well as a writer, occultist, and musician. He was the author of the Satanic Bible and the founder of Lavean Satanism a synthesized system of his understanding of human nature and the insights of philosophers who advocated materialism and individualism, for which he claimed no supernatural or theistic inspiration. Ancestry and Early Life Levy was born as Howard Stanton Levy in Chicago, Illinois. His father, Michael Joseph Levy, was a liquor distributor from Omaha, Nebraska. His grandfather, Leon Levy, was born in Paris, France, and emigrated to, to the United States in 1886, settling in Douglas County, Nebraska, where he married Louisville native Emma Goldsmith, who was of German Jewish ancestry, two years later. Levy's mother, Gertrude Augusta Kaltron, was born to a Russian father and Ukrainian mother who had immigrated to Ohio in 1893, both became naturalized American citizens in 1900. According to his biography, however, his ancestry includes Georgian, French, Russian, Ukrainian, Alsatian, German, and Romanian. Levy's family moved to California where he spent his early life in the San Francisco Bay Area and in Globe, Arizona. His parents supported his musical interests, as he tried a number of instruments, his favorites were keyboards such as the pipe organ and the calliope. He did covers of instrumentals like Harlem Nocturne by Earl Hagen. Levy's biography claims he dropped out of Globe High School in his third to join a circus and later carnivals, first as a roustabout and cage boy in an act with the big cats, then as a musician playing the calliope. Levy later claimed to have seen that many of the same men attended both the body Saturday night shows and the tent revival meetings on Sunday mornings, which reinforced his increasingly cynical view of religion. He would later work as an organist in bars, lounges, and nightclubs. In the foreword to the German version of the Satanic Bible he cites this as the impetus to defy Christian religion as he knew it. He accused churchgoers as employing double moral standards. While playing organ in Los Angeles burlesque houses, he allegedly had a brief affair with then-unknown Marilyn Monroe when she was a dancer at the Mayan Theater. This is challenged by those who then knew Monroe, as well as the manager of the Mayan, Paul Valentine, who said she had never been one of his dancers, nor had the theater ever been used as a burlesque house. According to his biography, Levy moved back to San Francisco where he worked for three years as a photographer for the San Francisco Police Department, SFPD. He dabbled as a psychic investigator, looking into 800 calls referred to him by the police department. Later biographers questioned whether Levy ever worked with the SFPD, as there are no records substantiating the claim. During this period Lave was friends with a number of writers associated with Weird Tales magazine, a picture of him with George Haas, Robert Barber Johnson, whom he had met in the circus as an animal trainer and painter of carnival scenes, and Clark Ashton Smith appears in Blanche Barton's biography The Secret Life of a Satanist. In 1950, Levy met Carol Lansing and they married the following year. Lansing gave birth to Levy's first daughter, Carla Levy, born in 1952. They divorced in 1960 after Levy became entranced by Diane Hegarty. Hegarty and Levy never married, however, she was his companion for many years and mothered his second daughter, Zena Galatea Levy, 
in 1963. At the end of their relationship, Hegarty sued for palimony. Beginnings as a Satanist Becoming a local celebrity through his paranormal research and live performances as an organist, including playing the Wurlitzer at the Lost Weekend Cocktail Lounge, he attracted many San Francisco notables to his parties. Guests included Karen DePlesson, Michael Harner, Chester A. Arthur III, Forrest J. Ackerman, Fritz Lieber, Dr. Cecil E. Nixon, and Kenneth Anger. In 1951 Levy sought out a new unintentional hypocrisy branch of the Order of Thelema, i.e. Ordo Templi Orientis, in Berkeley. He was reportedly disappointed to find them so mystically minded. A few years earlier he had ordered most of Aleister Crowley's books from his American follower John Whiteside Parsons. When John Simon's biography of Crowley, the Great Beast came out in 1952, Levy concluded that the Thelemit's founder was a drug opposer whose greatest achievements were as a poet and a mountain climber. Church of Satan Levy began presenting Friday night lectures on occult and rituals. A member of this circle suggested that he had the basis for a new religion. On Valpurgis Nacht, April 30th, 1966, he ritualistically shaved his head, allegedly in the tradition of ancient executioners, declared the founding of the Church of Satan and proclaimed 1966 as the year one, Anno Satan as the first year of the Age of Satan. Media attention followed the subsequent satanic wedding ceremony of radical journalist John Raymond to New York socialite Judith Case on February 1, 1967. The Los Angeles Times and San Francisco Chronicle were among the newspapers that printed articles dubbing him the Black Pope. Levy performed satanic baptisms, including one for Zena, and satanic funerals including one for naval machinist repairman third class Edward Olson, complete with a chrome helmeted honor guard, and released a record album entitled The Satanic Mass in the late 1960s and early 1970s, Levy melded ideological influences from Friedrich Nietzsche, Ayn Rand, Aleister Crowley, H. L. Mencken, and Jack London with the ideology and ritual practices of the Church of Satan. He wrote essays introduced with reworked excerpts from Ragnar Redbeard's Might is Right and concluded with satanized versions of John Dee's Enochian Keys to create books such as The Satanic Bible, The Complete Witch, re-released in 1989 as The Satanic Witch, and The Satanic Rituals. The latter book also included rituals drawing on the work of H.P. Lovecraft which were actually penned by Michael A. Aquino who would later found the Temple of Set. Due to increasing visibility through his books, Levy was the subject of numerous articles in the news media throughout the world, including popular magazines such as Look, McCall's, Newsweek, and Time, and men's magazines. He also appeared on talk shows such as Joe Pine, Phil Donahue, and Johnny Carson, and in a feature-length documentary called Satanese, The Devil's Mass in 1970. Levy's third and final companion was Blanche Barton. Barton and Levy are the parents of Satan Xerxes Karnacki Levy, born November 1, 1993. She succeeded him as the head of the church after his death, and has since stepped down from that role and handed the reins of power to Magus Peter H. Gilmore. Death Anton Levy died on October 29, 1997, in St. Mary's Medical Center in San Francisco of pulmonary edema. He was taken to St. Mary's, a Catholic hospital, because it was the closest available. For reasons open to speculation, the time and date of his death was incorrectly, by two days, listed as the morning of Halloween on his death certificate. A secret satanic funeral, 
attended by invitation only, was held in Kalma. Levy's body was cremated, with his ashes eventually divided among his heirs as part of a settlement. <laughs>